Today I'm going to talk about a, how to connect an external receiver to a LiftMaster 3800W jack shaft opener. The LiftMaster external receiver that I'm using to do this job for LiftMaster maybe could be several brands. Um, this external receiver need to be 12 volt and a low power consumption. So a modern design probably will give you that. A jack shaft opener features also an electric lock and uh, the LED light that is also remote controlled from the opener um, to give you light in the garage. So how do you connect that? Um, an external receiver needs power and needs to click a relay. This one can click three relays. We just need one. But you could wire it differently so it's open, close, stop if you if you want that. Um, these two wires which are powering the, uh, the, the terminal go to this terminal green and this terminal white. This terminal, this, these two terminals with the wire jumper are for a wicked door. Um, this one, the white one is plus, that one is minus, that gives you 12 volt and in enough power to run the external receiver. See the LiftMaster one would have here also a jack. Um, you could take completely external power, which is always nice because you're separating stuff. Um, this white and uh, red is the command or push button and that goes to here to the normal open relay. That's all you need. Uh, watch the check light. What you click here is the lock. Uh, the click here is the lock. Um, 12 volt minimum power. So if you think you could use the the battery, external battery, then you need to understand that. Here is a battery inside that's not standard in the Sterling 100 W. It's optional. So if you if you remove the battery leads and are connecting here the external receiver, that won't work because the logic board understands that the battery is missing and shuts down the two terminals and doesn't supply them with power. You see, it's already complaining that because it knows it isn't there anymore. Um, when you have the battery inside, then this is no problem. Then you can take also the 12 volts from those terminals. No big deal. That would work. So, yeah. Let me know if you have questions.